Hey guys, and welcome to another video about Serifox 910. As you can see, we are here on Goldmod Railway, and I'll be covering the basic positionings for defense, attack, and also an overview positioning and explaining what to do there. I'll also link uh, my nade spots in the description below, so please feel free to go over and check them out if you do need some help on that. But let's start on China's side and let's jump right into it. Alright, now on China from the right side, let's start here on the bomb. Now there are three areas which you want to cover when it comes to this area over here. The one area is here on the far right side where people basically can come from there. Usually they blow up that wall or they take a long flank towards there. So when you are holding this side, make sure they do not push it. The recommended position if you can get is all the way back here on this rocks here. As you can see you have a nice little overview of all the whole area from that boarding over there to that entrance and to that area there. And to there as well, while having the tree here as well as a bit of cover and camouflage for you. Now the second position here on the right side on the bomb spawn is here behind this building. You can see the entrance there in the front, also usually people will hide behind those containers over there. And if you can get yourself in here, usually expect people in that building over there. Basically there, there, or even some people will tend to go in that building over there. But always beware of your left side because people tend to go to that middle area and they usually try to shoot you from that boarding over there or if they can get up straight to this little balcony there. And then the last area here with the boss spawn is here on the left side of the building. Basically by this little button here which makes a nice bomb. But anyway, hiding behind this rock over here is a good position because you can see the building and provide cover and also watch to make sure there's nobody flanking from the left side here. It's also good to, if you can, get a push from here, going straight towards the building, clearing it up, and then getting into it, getting a higher ground, and making sure the bomb is clear for pickings. Now, another important area on Golmod is this middle area over here. I like to refer to it as island. There are three buildings situated here, and they all basically oversee all three bomb sites. It is a very important area to cover because you basically can defend the uh, mobility of the bomb from this area over here by providing a good cover fire and also an overview to see where enemies are moving at all times. So make sure you at least have two people constantly in this area helping your team or just being an overview for them. Usually RPGs can be used on top of these buildings but it's not always a confirmed kill because of the distance and also sometimes there's a lot of buildings in between the bomb sites as well. Now for the last area is on the bomb sites itself. You can usually keep someone at the back for if your team did go um, down and you need someone to spawn on. Usually the best place to keep someone is in school building. For the reason is one of my nade spots where you can protect Alpha and Bravo from this area here basically rock rocking the nade to there and to there. And while also basically being on top of Charlie. So basically keeping the school building is the must and also then basically providing a spawn for your team so they can spread out and defend the bomb sites if need be. Now, as you can see here, on the China side when it comes to defending all the pos recommended positions, I have one here basically just above a wall by the bomb spawn area, and we're basically watching the flank to the right there, and if they do take out the wall here. And another one inside the first building, watching the front entrance, and then also the boarding run in front of them. And one here at the far back, basically watching if someone does flank from the left side of the building, or checking far left side of the rocks if someone does peek there. And then another one here at the back of the rocks, also watching the left side of the building, and then no one watching here in the open area here by island. And then you have your last one here in the building, watching the rocks and the building itself. Now one of my rec also the most recommended spots I would say is this one over here. When having someone here at the far back side box, basically uh, watching the right side flank, if they take out the wall or if they do get in the building here. And we have another one inside the boarding here, basically just the back area, not too high. Watching the boarding right, the front entrance, and then the boarding over here. And then you have the one here, basically you can either push here or while watching the same area, or watching the left side here. And then you have two here on the island, one at the outside at the bottom behind the boarding, watching the rocks, or straight towards the boarding if they do want to push up. And then you have your another one inside the boarding on the second floor, watching towards the rocks there, and the boarding as well at the window in the corner. Now, when it comes to attacking this area over here, you'd want to keep someone here at the back, basically providing an overview for the team. Basically, he'll be your defense line from the right side. 
And then you would have another person in this building over here, basically holding it and making sure nobody push up straight towards the bomb. Because the bomb usually spawns first in this area here. Now, another area that I would suggest uh, when you want to push is basically here. This would be your best area to push because you have to bonus your cover and this contains for the left side. So basically pushing up here straight, coming up here, taking control of this building, watching the flanks over there and taking anybody out that's on here. Usually smoking up this building at the front end, making sure they don't see you coming up is also a good way to push up. And then having another guy push here at the back while they smoked up. Now when you're attacking in this island over here, I would recommend you at least have one person in this building, but they will expect someone there. But still having this building as your cover is very good as well. And then seeing if you can sneak someone to this rock over here. Basically seeing if you can get someone in the building over there. And then pushing there, or basically providing cover from this side. Now the person in the building basically, we should see if you can get in the second story because it's the best cover using all windows or this door if you can, but the door obviously is less cover. From this window you can also provide cover if someone did take your friend up there, or you can go up here, getting the enemy if they to uh, uh, go peek there at the top. Or from here you can basically see your people in the building over there as well, providing your team the bomb capture. Alright, now for Russia. Here on the left side on the bomb spawn area, there are also, I would say, two areas you want to cover. One area is in this building over here. Basically, you can just move in here, like a so, and you're in the building. Basically, keeping this building is a very good area to cover, because you can see the whole enemy on basically also from the right side there, there, or even there. Another area is here on the far left side. Basically pushing up towards here, getting this rock as cover. Be prepared if there is somebody there, there's not always someone there, but you should expect someone there. Or a straight push towards here, watching that area there using this little push as cover if need be. A little nade spot can also be used there to push them up. And another good place is basically getting in this building over here. It is a good cover spot and basically nice overviews to keep people at the building there. Or if they do the gun bowing there, or push around to the right there. So basically, when it comes to the bomb areas, using the buildings is a good area to a uh, good way to defend or to attack. It depends on how you play it. Now here on um, Russia's side, when it comes to the island, basically pushing up and getting to that building as soon as possible is very necessary. Or if you want to play defensively, getting to this area over here or sticking into the building. Making sure they don't push you and you don't get pushed out. So basically getting someone behind this rock here. A nice little get head glitch spot good. Or if you really want and you can be a bit more aggressive defensively. Basically running up towards this rock here. But be careful if someone does go up there. Just popping a little nade there should keep them in their place. Or if you're feeling a bit um, cowardish. You can come to this building here. Using this rock, uh, window over here. Where you can see that whole building. Or if someone does try to push from there. Or coming straight up here. Providing help for your team up there. Or using this window over here. Or for another place, this window is far back. We have a nice overview of that building. The rocks there. And the left side over there as well. Now here on the Russia side, this is a bit of a more um, defensive position. You're on the left side watching the left side. Uh, we call it the Simba rocks if you like. And then by watching the wall. And then you have the guy here on the bomb spawn in the mirror behind those little containers here, watching straight there or to the right side of the flank, and another one inside the building, watching the building as well in front of him, and then at the back rocks there. And then you have the one more at the back side of the rocks, you can better see if you can get a view towards there, and we're watching the little left side of the middle building, and then watching the building itself. And another one in the corner window, watching the left side, the middle building itself, and then if someone does flank to the right side over there. And here you have a bit of a more of aggressive uh, stance. One year on the far left side, still watching the left side area, but also watching more areas to cover. And then you have the one in the building, a bit more front up, higher up, watching the building, and the right side, and the one in the to right, also basically watching to the right side or to the rocks, where you can also push up himself if need be. And the one in the same building there, the window, watching in front of him, and then another one at the right, who can basically push up while watching the building or the right side flank there. Now when it comes to pushing you on the bomb site, 
I would suggest from the Russia side pushing straight here in the middle area because you have the better cover. Pushing up here in the far side. And moving in down the wall. Getting the picks here. Moving up building, getting the pick there. Getting the high ground and see if there's anybody at the bar behind. Or then basically clearing up the people there. Clearing us with the bomb and getting it. While keeping one guy in the building and another one on the left side flank, making sure nobody from there attacks your um, person moving up. When you are attacking from this side on the island, I would suggest rushing up, popping a nade, and if you do want, popping an RPG on the top side there. And then making your way straight into the building or flanking around, checking the windows. And then basically moving in towards the building. And then clearing it floor for floor. While having someone in that building, basically making sure they do not push you on the outside waiting to flank you. Or if they can spot them through the windows. Or if they do go on the rooftop itself to get away from the guy inside the building. Alright, and that basically covers Gormod Railway. Uh, I hope this was a very informative video for you guys, and I hope it helped you a lot. Like I said in the start, I will link my nade spots in the description below. But please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you guys so much. Peace.